Hey, oh, what is up guys? My name is Thomas Park and today I'm going to be talking about Ring of Elysium. Now, I've got about, you know, 30, uh, 33 hours or so into this game. Came out roughly, you know, a week or two ago. Um, essentially, it's kind of like a free-to-play PUBG, um, but a lot of people like this game just because it feels very fluid, it's easy to play, um, it's free, um, and it has some cool mechanics like snowboarding, gliding, and so on. Um, so today we're going to be talking about, you know, how to get access to Ring of Elysium. Now, Ring of Elysium isn't really accessible worldwide on Steam. What you're going to have to do is use a VPN. Now, a lot of people have, you know, their favorite VPN and so on. But today I have the best VPN. Um, <clears throat> why is it the best VPN to use? Well, TorGuard VPN is the best VPN to use because it's the best um, price and it is extremely fast. So with Ring of Elysium, as you can see here, um, you could just play and keep it on if you want, or you can turn the VPN on. And once you get into Ring of Elysium, you can go ahead and turn it off and just play without the VPN on. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and close down Ring of Elysium. All right, guys, so you wanna use a VPN with Ring of Elysium. How's, how's you gonna do it? So here we go, we have Torgard. Uh, it's pretty simple here, actually, guys. Um, pick a good server location it's somewhere nearby you. I'm just going to pick randomly Seattle for now. Um, and so depending on where you are, pick a server location close to you. But it doesn't matter too much here. We're just kind of changing the IP, um, encrypting your traffic, and you're going to bypass some of the restrictions. So you just click Connect. It's going to be pretty quick here with Torgard. Got kind of a new interface there, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see here, we are connected pretty quick. Um, there you go. So once you do that, you are connected. You're going to go to Ring of Elysium and click play. That's pretty much it. So once you are um, in the game, you can actually disconnect the VPN if you want. Maybe you're going to get a little bit better speeds that way. Um, but overall, Tour Guard actually doesn't impact um, speeds too much. You're still going to get a pretty good speed, uh, ping. When I'm connected to a Tour Guard, I still have a ping of 24 milliseconds, which is very good. So it, that's why I think it's the best gaming VPN. Um, additionally, it's also going to be the cheapest VPN out there. Um, now you can use a free fee VPN if you choose, but these are going to be limited in terms of how much data you're using. So it's going to be running out in a day. If you want to sign up for a new account every single day, um, it's going to be a huge pain in the ass. Um, so this is my best method. Not only that, guys, but if you're a fan of torrenting and stuff like that, you can also use TorGuard for that, which is very useful. As you can hear, see here, as you can see here, we have loaded up Ring of Elysium. Um, and let's just start a match, show you that it does indeed work. Well, someone shot me already. Wasn't too nice. Wasn't too nice at all. I don't know why they would shoot me in such a manner. But to be quite frank, it was quite rude. Quite. Not too many guns so far. Part of the RNG of these Battle Royale games. Gotta love them, right? Luckily, I do have a shotty. You get a one tap of this bad boy if you get a headshot. It's always good. Looks like we got an AK here. Put that in there. Okay. Ooh, got it two times. Let me just see here. Heal up. So as you can see, my VPN on is on right now. I'm not getting any lag or anything. Plays fine. Keep it on. Keep it off. Up to you. Okay. Well, you got me. You got me good. That's for sure. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out this video. If you want to use a good VPN for Ring of Elysium, I would recommend a Torgard VPN. Wouldn't really good go with any free VPNs. It's just going to be a pain in the ass. Now, Torgard it's only going to be five dollars a month if you sign up for a one month sub, and it's going to be even cheaper if you sign up um, for a yearly subscription. It's going to be you know anywhere from two to three dollars a month, which is really good indeed. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you again on the next VPN video.